Welcome to Cyclist Academy. Today we're talking about the multi-tracking tool. Multi-tracking tool is useful for four-dimensional data that you need to track over space and time. Cyglass makes it easy to look at these things when it's hard to read them on a 2D monitor. If you look closely, this data already has a few tracks in it. So let's get started. One of the most important things to know about multi-tracking is this bar on the top of your project menu. It has an HZ, which stands for Hertz, and this represents the number of frames that are moving through the data at a time. The higher the Hertz, the faster the data. So we're going to slow it down to look at it more precisely. There are multiple ways to multi-track. For the first one, let's pause the data and set it back to the first frame so we're at the very beginning of our data. Select the multi-tracking tool, which is represented by dotted lines and points in the toolbar, and then pick a color to make your track with. For this first tracking option, we're having the data paused, and you're going to use the touchpad on your controller to scroll through the frames. So to drop the first node, pull the trigger on your controller and then scroll on the touchpad and drag that same point with the trigger. Make sure you drag that same point through time and you don't drop a second node with the trigger. I suggest keeping the option show series number on. That way you can see if you drop a second node. Mine are selected on right now, and as you can see, I have a five above mine. And there's an option to do frame skip. Frame skip is useful for moving through the data faster, but if you want to be more precise, I suggest leaving it on frame one and scrolling through frame by frame. If you look in the bottom right video, track three is using frame skip, and track five is not. It's a little more precise. The second option for multi-tracking is to select multi-tracking tool with both controllers and use one to scroll through the data as you move the data with the other controller. The third option is to slow down the hertz to a very slow speed, maybe 0.5 or 1, and then press play. And if you just hold down on the trigger, you can use it like a marker and track your data. Pressing and holding on the touchpad We'll toggle the eraser. You just have to scroll through the touchpad and wait until that individual point that you want to erase is highlighted. If it's not highlighted, it won't let you delete it. That way you don't accidentally delete other points. You can track multiple points at the same time. However, sometimes it's hard to decipher which trail is which. And as you can see, the track that I've made is starting to obstruct the data. So there are a few ways to fix this. First is to color the existing series. If you check this box and then choose a different color, use the trigger and you can color one of the tracks a different color. The second option is to uncheck the box that says show full trails. And this will make it so you can only see the node that's in the current frame. So those are all of your options for multi-tracking. It's up to you how precise you want to be with it. Thanks for watching and contact us if you have any problems.